For this episode of uh, Coach's Vision, we're gonna break down how the Los Angeles Lakers attack the zone of the Miami Heat. Uh, as you know, if you've been following us, the Miami Heat have largely used their vaunted uh, inverted zone in getting to this uh, the NBA Finals. Uh, but the Lakers have done uh, really well so far. Granted, the Miami Heat are struggling now with their injuries but you can't take away the fact that the lakers are attacking it uh, very precisely with uh, great intent and great focus and i think a lot of coaches a lot of players are going to pick up and the students of the game are going to pick up some uh, interesting uh, facts and some fundamentals on how to attack zone defenses here in this episode of coach's vision let's check it out Taking a look here at how the Lakers are attacking the heat zone, we know it's been very successful. And essentially, they've been attacking it by putting a guy right there. It's really a 1-3-1 one, one alignment. That's the key guy. And as you take a look at the zone, the R8 here, either on a 1-2-2 two, two or a 2-3. But we see this right away, overloading the top part of the zone and then making sure that the underneath the zone is always very busy and occupied so that's the first thing that we're going to see and what the lakers are doing is that they're not showing that alignment to begin with so they either run a make a high post pass or run a high ball screen with that alignment a lot of movement and then they get this into what we call the short corner and normally on short corner passes like this and there is a guy here on the high post the rule is always short corner the on the short corner pass high post dives and then that frees up so the option of the short corner player is either a pass to that cutter or a skip pass to this guy wide open here let's take a look at what lebron does he's scanning he's scanning the floor waits for it waits for it and then Davis may have come from the opposite post, but that's just uh, almost like a high post dive. Here it is again. again the, it's essentially a 1-3-1, one, one, except what LeBron is doing is he's sealing off this little guy here instead of just staying right in the middle of the floor. But in, in essence, it's a 1-3-1. One, one. Again, one guy here. There's the three, those three guys there. And watch that short corner player this time. They flipped it. It's LeBron on the high post and Davis on the short corner or sometimes we call that the dunker spot or the loop guy. Let's take a look. LeBron tries to seal none to catch the ball and right away that contracts the defense and you, take, you can see now how wide open it contracts the defense here and you can see how wide open that the short corner, the cutter, the loop guy or that dunker spot is. The problem is if the heat, the defense doesn't react that way, then LeBron is going to have a little wide open chippy in the middle of the lane. That opens it up for that easy basket. There's that seal that we were talking about. Ceiling. And uh, apparently that's an intentional play. Take a look here again. Next play. Again, you see that? As uh, the play develops, LeBron again is already sealing his man here and he's already taking a look as they make a movement he's already pointing you see there lebron is pointing he's telling kuzma to skip it over to this guy caruso so that when lebron flashes right here they're going to make it difficult that they're going to force tyler hero to make a decision on that skip however that doesn't happen as Kuzma is unable to make that pass, Caruso flashes to the post instead and the movement continues. There it is again on the short corner pass, zone principle, short corner pass, high post dive, or high post cut. Again, either shot, pass or this is the third option. Those are the uh, things we're looking at uh, when we're attacking zone on the short corner pass. And the fundamentals 
of that uh, position is that when you catch, you have to face. That's why it's called a short corner. It's not a low post uh, attack. It's a short corner uh, position. You, you want to face up so that you can see the zone and you have good vision. And you can see right here, if uh, AD shoots it and he misses, that's going to be an easy rebound for LeBron. So now as we come down here, check it out. There's that cut by Marky, by, by Morris on that high post. And again, the Lakers want to get it in there. Now the Heat are taking that away because they've been burned a couple of times. Caruso can't get the ball over. He's going to swing it to LeBron. Can't make that pass. So he swings it. And take a look at LeBron. Now he's looking at that high post. But what happens? Andre Gudala covers this high post. That pass is not available. LeBron is looking. He sees that's not available. So he makes this easy swing for a wide open shot. But what made this shot possible was this look here into the high post. The coverage of Igudala. And now we already have two versus one on the other side here. On the reversal, if Igudala covers the high post, that's going to be two versus one on the weak side on, on, on that uh, alignment. Right there. And if the Lakers are hitting their threes, there's really very little the Heat can do. Now here's another look on that, on that high post attack. This time, that's Danny Green there. can make the pass. He becomes a screener. They set a ball screen, occupying the top part of the defense. And now, let's take a look. On the attack, right here, there is already a disadvantage for the Miami Heat. As against the Miami Heat. Caruso makes this pass. For Kuzma, who shoots that wide open three because Caruso was able to attract this defender. Wide open three for Kuzma. Who misses, but there's that offensive rebound we were talking about. Morris gets it over Tyler Hero. And when that happens, and this is something we take a look at all the time. This is part of our offense in the dribble drive. We get a lot of our three-point shots off the offensive rebound. Why? Because in rebounding situations, when there is a scramble, a lot of times the defense is going to be collapsing in the paint, trying to rebound, opening it up, opening up shooters for wide open looks. And, and think about it. How many times have you seen Larry Fonacher, Jimmy Lapag, Jeff Chan, Rani Del de Ocampo hitting three-point shots of offensive rebounds like these? Here's another look on the offensive. Uh, always the Lakers' first look is transition. They're taking a look if they have an easy uh, basket of the uh, transition or their uh, primary attack. If it's not there, they flow into their movement. Ball reversal. And right there, watch what happens. On this pass, they attract that defender. This guy, the, the rim runner, the loop guy attracts this defender. And guess who's wide open. That allows this pass, and that shot. Secondary break. The good thing with the Lakers is their versatility. We saw already LeBron on the high post. Uh, we've seen AD on the high post. We've seen Morris. And now we are seeing of a traditional 1-2-2 alignment, we see now Rondo climbing. Of the attack, Rondo climbs. He catches the ball right here again at the heart in the heart of the defense and take a look at his movement same thing when rondo gets it there's that one three one we're talking about one three one and there this is the key playing behind the defense 
short corner guy. If the ball is in the perimeter, he's in the short corner. If the ball gets to the post, now he becomes the loop guy, the dunker spot or the cutter around the paint. Forces the defense to collapse and he gets a wide open look right here for KCP. Again, here it is again. Take a look at that push, just that constant rim run. We call that the rim run. Always rim running on makes or miss. Anthony Davis put so much pressure on the defense by that rim run. Taking a look, pulling the defense to him all the time. And if, it, if the Lakers see that he's not open, this is what we call flow. They flow into their offense. They have uh, very basic concepts that they want to look at. And that means if the rim runner is not free, short corner is not open, they're going to always take a look at Caruso right there, fill that high post. As soon as he catches the ball on the high post, he attracts this defense, leaving his teammate here wide open. And take a look at this again here. That situation, Anthony Davis against Tyler Hero. A huge disadvantage again for the defense. But KCP doesn't take that shot, swings it quickly. And now um, Rondo takes advantage of the movement. There's that, uh, now this is what we call shooting the gap. Shooting the gap on the zones. On the movement, the zones will always have gaps right there. We talked about it already in this, in a previous episode. Against the zone, there are going to be gaps because... The defense is playing uh, areas and instead of men. And so Rondo does a great job here shooting the gap. Through that gap, he draws the defense and Rondo does what Rondo does. Great drop plus Anthony Davis. The dunker spot, the loop guy. This time, it's Rondo again, coming down, ball here, one, three, one, but this time Morris is a little bit here, so he's got that uh, freedom to position himself. Eventually, they're in a one, three, one alignment, Rondo catches it, now nobody comes to him, and that's a wide open, easy shot for Rondo. Now, this is what we're talking about, whether... whether Miami makes the basket or misses it. Uh, the Lakers are in run out. And always, you don't even see Anthony Davis here because he's already, you can just see his feet here. He's already sprinting. That's what we call the rim run. He's already sprinting. LeBron and Rondo, they're masters at rewarding their big guy for running the floor. Catches it here. Forces the Miami Heat to contract. Rotate on defense. There's no uh, easy layup, but already there's a big mismatch here. You're seeing on on the reversal of the ball. Good tip out by Miami, but you're going to see later on how that rim run is gonna pay dividends for the Lakers. Here it is again. There's that push. That's a push that's very important. That that push up hard. Taking a look at this, the Lakers are trying to get into their offense before the Heat are able to set their defense, their 2-3 zone. It's very, very important. So the first look in a zone, uh, to attack a zone, try to, to get into your offense before the defense gets set. Rondo pushes it here. Heat come back. Nothing there. So now, Heat come back on defense. There's that flow. Because of that push, look at how many defenders Anthony Davis attracted. And now, look at how open is somebody else coming down here. The Lakers shooters are going to be. You have to credit also Anthony Davis for this shot. Because his effort and his sprint allowed that to happen. This time we see LeBron bringing up the wall. There's the zone. Lakers are in movement. They take a look now at loading one side. They have uh, 
the pass here on the reversal okay pass here reversal now take a look at anthony davis from the uh, opposite corner now he's going to occupy that high post spot right there there's anthony davis again into their one three one okay the heat do a good job take a look they're covering it they're covering covering the high post they don't want the ball to get into the high post rondo sees that runs that pass reversal to lebron and this is again what we call because of the rule when they are bumping check bump and go to that corner lebron knows there's going to be a gap and that's the gap that he's going to shoot he's going to shoot the gap that opens up there's that penetration shooting the gap attracting the defense and take a look what are lebron's options shooter 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 he makes the pass to kcp knocks down that three another assist for lebron here's another push again take a look anthony davis is here again again on the on the make they're pushing hard anthony davis rim running nothing there look at this weak side cut here the defense busy we call that playing behind the defense carl kuzma KC, uh, Rondo doesn't like it, so Kuzma goes straight into the high post. Now, that cut, that high post cut by Kuzma opens up this guy. Guess who's coming in from that space that was created, the vacuum that was created by the Kuzma high post cut, high post flash. right there just some fundamental basic simple offensive sets yes they have the talent but they also have the alignment and the skills to attack these uh, this miami heat zone and finally all that effort of anthony davis all those looks he gets one finally they get that ball on that pass and now what happens is that the Miami Heat play man to man and so as soon as the Heat recognize this man to man the Lakers again they're just flowing into their offense they take what the defense gives them And that's going to be the problem. Zone or man, Lakers are too smart. They've got some really great veteran players that make decisions. Miami Heat defense is consistently going to be pressured in this entire series. There you have it. Very clinical approach by the uh, Los Angeles Lakers in dismantling and attacking the, the Miami Heat zone. Uh, to be very fair, the Miami Heat, really they really need Bam Adebayo to, to have a chance in this series because he's their guy, he's their presence, he's their rim protector there in the middle. Uh, but uh, if, you would like, if you would distill our lessons and what we've seen, just the, the five main points in attacking the zone. Number one, transition offense. Try to get to the offense and attack the the zone first before the defense has a chance to set up and you saw that anthony davis consistently rim running and the rest of the lakers looking if they could forward pass number two we if the transition the primary attack is there you flow now to your secondary offense and uh, you have to have a system a facility where you don't necessarily need to set up and and call a set play just flow into the offense mainly basically what the lakers did sometimes it was a one two two alignment sometimes it was a two three 
but eventually it would fall back into a 1-3-1 because what they wanted to do was get the ball into the middle in the high post which is really the soft part of any kind of zone defense so transition offense flow into your alignment into the attack uh, uh, focus which is the high post and then make sure that you are willing to shoot the gaps if the high post uh, looks are not there you are uh, the rest of the players are willing to shoot the gaps and not simply settle for three point shots just sh shoot the gaps and then you will find a, a lot of opportunities when you shoot the gaps the defense collapse and now you're able to better move the ball that's uh, point number four transition offense flow into your movement and then number three shoot the gaps number four is move the rock consistently move the ball make the defense shift left and right and then finally offensive rebound don't forget that zones are very susceptible to offensive rebounding so any kind of zone attack must take into consideration consideration how you are going to crash the glass so that's uh, very very important we've seen all those five elements so far in how the Lakers attack it, it's very basic, it's very fundamental. And even uh, the other coaches in whatever level you are listening to us right now, you can uh, implement it and apply it right away to your teams. That's what we're trying to do to help all of the coaches. So keep it right here, listen, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time here on Coaches Vision.